Sunday, December 9th, 2018. I was at the range today, fooling around with this target that I got from AliExpress and came broken. So I glued it together again. Uh, and then I uh, have been shooting it. It's not really a very good target. Um, fortunately, it showed up way late and the vendor had closed up shop so AliExpress gave me my money back because it didn't show up on time and the fact that it showed up in pieces didn't really help. But it's still fun to shoot. Like I mean, it's, it's a reactive target. Um, I yeah, I it's fun. I, I do enjoy shooting it. Don't get me wrong, and I will shoot it till it's kaputs. And more importantly, I'll probably put it back together again when it is kaputs. I was shooting at it with a couple bows today, but one of the bows I was using was a Kijiji find. It's an interesting combination, actually. Came in this lovely little bag. But it's um, a classic Martin riser with really nice, but you know, that really nice inlay that they give it. A little nice wood piece. With checkmate limbs. Old school checkmate limbs. It's a nice shooter. It's, uh, I, I haven't really shot it a lot. I'm only just kind of getting used to it now. Um, to be honest, I think I've maybe shot. This is the second or third time I've shot it. I haven't chronoed it yet. And even though I'm going to be assembling it right, assembling it right now, uh, I will not be shooting it in my basement because it's, you know, a little long. Well, if I kneel, I can do it comfortably and safely. It's going to make chronoing it down here kind of hard because even the crouching doesn't work very well with that. It's just a straightforward takedown bow. They modified these these checkmate. Whoever owned this, or whoever sold it, or I, I don't know. The, the gentleman who owned it, um, unfortunately, has passed away. So uh, this was from the people who were taking care of his estate. So I don't know his story behind it, but. It's been shot. You obviously enjoyed shooting it. I had to get a new string, of course. I got it set for a brace height of 8 inches. So, strung. This is 68. So, it's, no, it's not. It is not safe to do in my basement. As you can hear, it's like right there. That's like eeky, eeky, eeky. Very scary. Got a good balance to it. I really like it. I've been shooting it this you know, twice, three times tops. Three? Twice for sure, with a question mark. I can't remember the third one. Um, like actually, the third time would be me kneeling in the basement when I first got it, fooling around with it. So I was shooting with it at the range, just kind of getting a feel for it. I'll be adding some form 
footage of me with that. So that was my day today, shooting, having fun, shooting at this target, and a tennis ball, and not having much success with the tennis ball. I've been trying really, really hard to get footage of me hitting the tennis ball, because I do hit the tennis ball on a regular basis, and the tennis ball shows for it, it just doesn't like to be seen. So, what are you going to do? thought I was going to show you this Martin riser. I don't know what year it is. I don't know other than being a Martin riser. Um, combined with a set of Checkmate limbs. Checkmate is a, is a very good bowyer. And um, these are 90s. These would have made these these limbs would have been made in the 90s. Um, 1844 is the serial on this one, and like I said, they have been modified to fit this riser. So, thought I would share it with you guys. Newest addition to my collection, I guess. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of bows. What are you going to do? Have fun.